everybody totally change of scenery today because I arrive in the state of Fort Oregon and I am stopping here at Squatch Sami because I am about to try out the best fish and chips in the state here. They local um they source their fish locally, so everything here is just made, um, scratch made, and I think Newport is where I stayed at actually was beautiful, really beautiful beach in Oregon I never knew about, but I'm super excited to try out their food. They're known as a food truck, but they also have a sit down area, so that's where I'm going to go and sit down and try their food out, and of course all their different sandwiches, and just eat a lot of good food, honestly, so I'm super excited for that. Let's go inside and check it out. Yay! guys just got sat down inside beautiful interior really spacious and i got one of their little espresso latte shots this is with oat milk this is so cute oh my god that's so good and it's raining outside so something hot like this is perfect oh so guys, i ordered some food and they brought us some their sauces look at the way they set it up it's so cute so we got some ranch we got some tartar sauce we got some creole sauce ketchup and cocktail sauce it's basic sauces but i love the presentation of it and this um creole one it smells so freaking good maybe even a little bit spicy but yeah i cannot wait to try it out especially with the fish and chips it's gonna taste so right, good guys, so some of the food came out this is their hand breaded chicken tenders with fries to the seasoning out this smells incredible we got some chicken waffles we got their clam chowder bread bowl we got their signature chicken sandwich and some waffles everything smells so amazing we still got the fish and chips coming out but i cannot wait to dig in oh my god right, guys and so we got the star of the show that just came out the fish and chips that looks so good all right guys so i cannot wait to get started on this time put my hair up and yeah i really want to try everything out so badly but the camera had to eat first and now it's my turn so we're going to start off with this uh, fried chicken and i'm going to dip in one of this sauce that i thought was like super interesting the creole sauce oh my gosh the piece is so big can't really fit it well it's got like a little bit of horseradish flavor that actually tastes so good now I understand why they gave me spoons because these pieces are just so big. Mm. Oh my god, it's like perfectly crunchy. I guess it's tartar sauce too. I know it's meant for the fish, but I love tartar sauce and trouble with chicken. Alright, now let's try out the fries. I can't really pinpoint. It's like rosemary, it's like rosemary fries or something. Never had rosemary fries. Yeah, but the scent of that was so strong when it first came out. It smelled so good. I like it though. Definitely something new. It makes the fries really fragrant. Something you don't usually see. I'm gonna try the cocktail sauce now. Oh my god. No, this is so good. I'm gonna start cutting the food with some of their healthy vegetables, healthy salad, just to balance out the flavors. Mmm. Wow, that's actually a really good salad. I really like dressing. I really like that. Okay, now like for the star of the show is this fish and chip. Oh my god. So again, this is like locally caught. Oh, everything made from scratch. It smells so good. Alright, tartar sauce. Mmm, oh my god. That has got to be one of the best fish and chips I've ever had.
And you really can't beat fresh fried fish. Mm -mm. And I am loving the sauces they gave me. The perfect situation would be if I could like bring all this food and eat it by the beach, but it's raining today, so that sucks. But if I was on the beach, oh my god, eating this kind of food, oh, uh, it's like perfect. I definitely need to come back here to make that happen. It's by the beach eating this food. When it's not raining, it's not gonna taste like some vegetables. These fries aren't seasoned. It's kind of interesting. They seasoned the one with the chicken, but not the fries. It's still good either way. You got one of their panini sandwich too. And you can tell all their food is made with so much love. Dude, I love good fish so much. They're so good. Oh, okay. Let me do this. So this is their bread bowl. Clam chowder bread bowl. Come on. That's a good clam chowder. I'm going to use the clam chowder as a sauce for the fish. This still tastes so good. Mm. Oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah. Clam chowder probably the perfect dip. Maybe some cocktail sauce for a little bit of tang. Mm. Oh yeah. That is so good. I never knew how to eat bread bowls correctly. Do you like start cutting off the sides of the bread? Is that what you do? Just peel it. And start eating it like that. Oh, that one tastes so good. Mm. This is actually perfect for a day like this because it's like cold soup and lots of carbs heat you up. It is a cool thing. I know I had rain in my name, but I really don't like the rain. So it never rains in California. <laughs> I mean, no, it's bad, but I really like it that way. Look how tan I am. I've been out in the sun all the time. I was like working out in the sun, probably like 90 degrees. 
I do my 10K steps in the sun. It doesn't, I don't mind it. But also, I'm so dark right now, it's so funny. <sighs> okay, definitely gotta try out their signature chicken sandwich. Dude, their pieces are so huge. Look at how big of a chicken piece this is. I guess it's like that, but yeah, this is massive. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm. Wow. I constructed this really nicely. All the pickles and the sauce and the coleslaw and the veggies come together really well. Even their choice of bread is really good. The bread texture is really good. Do I love this clam chowder? Even the, the clam pieces in here are actually like super fresh. You can actually taste it. Mm. I'm actually getting really full already. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's really deceiving because like everything's battered, so it's a lot of carbs. Uh, it gets Philly. Mm. Well, don't worry. The I'm going to my. Airbnb later. This is going to be food for like the entire week that I'm staying in Portland. I'm like really glad it's from here. This is definitely such a good choice. I can eat this fish forever though. This fish, like, the fish is just lighter. It's not as filling. Oh my god. You know what I actually really like about it is that they let the fish speak for itself because I've had fish and chips where it's like over seasoned and I don't like that. This one is like just simply seasoned and then they just let the freshness of the fish like really stand out. Mm. Wow. That's what makes it so good. The simple is best. When you guys are passing through Oregon, or if you live near Portland, Oregon, you definitely check this place out. I think it's like a two hour drive from Portland, but it's totally worth it.
It's in like a super cute little like town area too. It's adorable. I know I keep saying I'm done, but I can't stop eating this fish. It's so good. It's seriously like probably one of the best fish and chips I've ever had. And I love eating seafood. I really hate the fact it's raining. <clears throat> I really want to go work out. But sadly, I cannot walk. I was staying near the beach too, and yesterday I had like the most beautiful like beach walk. And I do my running and walking on the sand. And walking and running on the sand is a lot harder. But I got through it, and then my legs felt so juiced. It felt so good. My legs are getting really strong. the star of the show is the fish. Like I said, if you guys are passing through this area, this is Lincoln, around like Lincoln City, two hours away from Portland. It's definitely worth the trip to come check this place out and eat their food. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, if you guys should check this place out, let me know I sent you, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye -bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye bye.